David Black, Johnny Kent, Kent Firestone, one of the Kent brothers. Morning, morning. How are you, sir? Well, outstanding. Fine as frog hair split four ways. Four ways. Four ways. That, that, that'd, that'd be fine, that'd wouldn't it? That'd be real fine, yeah, I guarantee yes, you. Sir, really. Hey, we love to get on here and talk about things that are going on at Kent's Firestone and what great bargains that we have, deals, deals, deals. Well, let's talk about the weather. What about this weather? We film at the end of July. What about July's weather? Tell me about what you thought. Well, I have the front door propped open yeah. on the 29th day of July. Yes. Can't ever remember doing that before. Ever. Sit out on my deck in the morning, have my cup of coffee, read the paper before I come to work in the cool breeze blowing, you know. Unbelievable. I, I'm not sure this is Arkansas. We may, we, the whole continent may have shifted south. I, well, you know, there's a lot of truth in that global warming deal. <laughs> a well, global warming. <laughs> global warming gets cold. That's when we had the ice ages, yes, remember? Yes, I guarantee you, the weather has been outstanding. And, yes. And the deals are just even better at Kent's oh, Fire. What's going on? What's why, going on at your just place? Tires, yeah. oil changes, yeah. alignments, brakes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. service, people still getting those cars ready to go vacation. Well, a lot of yeah. vacation left. Yeah. Uh -huh. A lot of vacation Nice left. response this month for the uh, tire sale we've Good had. Deal. and deal. so, But now listen, so, here's the deal. When they hear this, it's gonna be August. So we don't guarantee these temperatures, okay? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's correct. We, <laughs> we have warranties on everything we do, but I don't warranty these temperatures. <laughs> you know, they'll be watching on August the 12th and it'll be 106. That's right. <laughs> no, I don't remember. It's when was it cool? When was it cool, when yeah. Was it cool? But it has been gorgeous. It's wonderful, it's yeah. wonderful. It's been good for everybody, you know. Uh, when, when it gets really hot and cars break, uh, attitudes get a little warmer too, yes, but they've been, it's been really nice. We've, yeah. we've enjoyed being blessed with, with unseasonal weather. We'll take it while we have it and try to remember it like you say when we don't. <laughs> yes, sir. But now listen, you know, by the time we do this again, it's going to be Labor Day. Right. And that's the kind of the last trip of the summer. So here it is. Hot August, probably hot August. probably hot August. Let's get it ready. You know, don't take a chance on those tires. Don't take a chance on those brakes. Let's let's not overrun that oil. And I uh, had a customer last this just day last week sent me a text message. He said, "Oh my gosh, I'm in Branson and I'm 1,700 miles overdue for an oil change. What am I going to do?" I said, <laughs> "Come on home. You'll be all right." <laughs> That's you know, right. Come on. Well, you know, people need to keep up, but that's a good thing about what you guys do. I mean, uh, somebody would call in and say, when was it? And you can mm -hmm. look it up on your computer yeah, and you yeah. can take care of folks and, and uh, uh, at least have some type of, quote, keep a maintenance schedule uh, for them. Because right. most of us, we think we keep a maintenance schedule, but we probably really don't. It's kind of like, you know, you look at a sticker and go, oh, yeah, like look at the sticker up there yeah, on 1700 yeah, miles. Uh -huh. But servicing an automobile and, and a big investment, and we talk about this a lot, Johnny, is that when you invest in that kind of money, if you service those vehicles, not that they're not going to tear up because, I mean, they're machines, but servicing a vehicle properly helps maintain that vehicle for years to come. That's what you guys do. You guys are the pros at it. And it's not uncommon anymore for 150000 250000 uh, whatever, uh, if you properly maintain sure. them, they'll give so much. You know, when you and I were growing up, if we got... 50,000 on one, Worn out. people are saying, oh, I gotta get rid of this car. Absolutely. Now, if they don't get 200,000, they say, what's wrong with your product? Absolutely you know? Same right. thing with tires, this tire here, you know, right. uh, 60,000 plus. And when people buy it, they expect that. Sure they do. And if they don't get that, then there's warranties to take care of sure. you for that. If you puncture it, why? This is the new drive guard. Remember this, I told you right. about it a month yeah. before last. Rich don't drive guard. For the, for the ladies that don't wanna have to get out and change a flat, they have a flat, they can drive right on into me safely, 50 miles at least at 50 miles an hour and not have to worry about it. Never before have we had a tire that That's amazing. gives the run flat protection on a regular passenger car and rides just like the Touring used to. Sure. I mean, and it's the, we gave this one the acid test, had a lady that bought a set of tires from me seven years ago came in and wanted that same tire. Well, we don't make it anymore. We have a replacement for it, Precision Touring. So I told her about, you know, what we had, and then I showed her this, I showed her a little video. Here was her statement. These a better ride as good as the others. 
I said, I will guarantee you they will because the company told me they would. That's right. And I had, That's right. And she would be the fourth set that I'd sold, so I wasn't had no acid test, but I knew that she'd be my acid test. Absolutely. I said, if you're not satisfied with them in the morning, bring them back, and I'll put the others on. I want to know. Came back the next morning, saw her drive up, and I kind of drew up just a little bit, you know. Didn't know what she's going to say. I said, okay. She said, they ride better than the others not did. Real. See, so yeah. the, here you are, run flat technology, running like a touring tire, same kind of mileage warranty. You know, run flats have never had a mileage warranty, same kind of mileage warranty. They've even got the full fuel efficiency uh, sector built into them, so it'll help your gas mileage. That's the other thing. Like the cars are better, the tires are better. They are better. They are and, better. Uh, but we do a lot more driving now than we used to, too. Sure we do. So. Well, and, and you know, you take <coughs> maintenance on a car and, and taking care of your car, just a little maintenance on a tire, a little maintenance on a tire, like tire pressure, mm -hmm. just a little simple, like making sure your tire pressure, a lot of these cars today will tell you when, you know, they've got a computer in it that tells you when your tires are low, but a lot of cars out there, most cars out there that are driving today don't. So. Right. Have your air checked in your tires occasionally, maybe even frequently, to help maintain the service on your tire also. Right, right. And and we do that each time we you come in for an oil change. Okay. Uh, if you're ready for your rotations, we, we automatically keep up with that for you, and we check that tire pressure. Our guys put a car up in the air for an oil change. Bring the bend over to drain the oil, take the plug out. While it's draining, they go around and check every tire. There you go. And then they, they check the other things under the car while the oil's still draining, get it all out of there, get that all out, put the plug back in, take the filter off, put the new filter on. So there's a routine. And, and if, if you do it right every time, you don't have to think about, did I do it that way? And the great thing about that is when they pump that air in there, how much do y'all charge for air here? Uh, yesterday it was zero. Zero. And yeah. It's Tomorrow it'll probably be zero. Yeah, zero for air. Yeah, that's so right. So you can invest zero and make money if you have to pump a little air into your tire. That's right. Take care of your tires, that's folks. Right. That's Take right. care of your you tires. And, and, and obviously the lady, you said seven, seven years later. Seven she, years later. She was checking the, oh, she was she, checking the pressure, I mean, wasn't she? she? Well, she had been in for her rotations yes. just free, just like Absolutely. for seven years, you Unreal. know. Uh, and do you realize that over the life expectancy of a set of tires, by buying a set of tires from me with free rotations, you will save $180 versus if you bought them somewhere else and you paid me $15 a time every time I rotate. Right. Now I have folks that do that. Right. You know, I'm not, I haven't figured that out yet, but I will take their money. <laughs> You save $180. Yes, sir. So uh, that's big bucks. That's, you a, know? that's a substantial cost of the tire. That's yeah. half a grocery bill it anymore. Is, it is, isn't it? <laughs> well, I have. well, okay, I don't have any money to pay. I don't have any money to pay. How does that work? Come in here and get a little... Tough luck. <laughs> Out of luck. Or how, would the, how would the good customer pay? <laughs> David, <laughs> let, me, let me tell you about our Bridgestone Firestone six months no interest yeah. plan. It just requires a short, simple application. Okay. It takes about five minutes to call it in and get it approved. And if that doesn't work, oh my goodness, well, we've maybe had a hospital bill or something, you know, somewhere. I, I just think that hospital bills shouldn't be held against anybody, but they are. They are. I have the 90-day no credit check plan where we can give you a little time, a little help. To, that's what most people need, just a little extra help to sure. get over the hump. And... Uh, you need a valid Arkansas driver's license, a current pay stub, and a checking account at the bank. So um, we can take care of you most anyway. Well, the thing about it, you guys provide the great service and uh, you know drive away uh, uh, with time to pay. That's right. You know, and, and uh, just taking care of an automobile and investing that kind of money in an automobile, you need to take care of it. Kent Brothers, for many years in Batesville, you guys are doing it and doing it right. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you, David. Good to and see And folks, you. we appreciate your business. Keep on coming. We have comments all the time saying, I saw you on TV, and I say, bless your heart. <laughs> you know? <laughs> well, but, I know when Bud does it, it's, it's, it's the John Kent Bud Black Comedy Hour, and you know, the only thing we can do is just provide the facts of what we do and not much comedy involved, but you know, we've got the facts. If you need tires, you need service on your automobile, Kent's Firestone is the place to go. Come see us. 
Continuing on with the business spotlight uh, in Batesville and Newport, and uh, Mr. Ted Hall joins us once again from White River Area Agency on Aging, and this is Sheila Gates from Eagle Mountain Assisted Living. And first of all, Mr. Ted, tell us where we are and t tell us a little bit about Eagle Mountain here. I'll be glad to. Hey, great having you with us today. Thank by you, the way. sir. Hey, listen, one of the things that uh, I'm so excited about being a part of the White River Area Agency on Aging is tell the story that we have and you know we do a lot of things for a lot of people and uh, at Eagle Mountain Assisted Living this is just one area that we have to offer seniors and we have our executive director our director of the Eagle Mountain Assisted Living today with us Sheila Gates and she is a great lady and she runs this uh, this uh, place just like it's her, her own home and she takes care of people and uh, we have a lady over here, the, the receptionist named Robin Milligan from Cave City. And she is a partner with Sheila. And they, they, everybody here understands we're here to serve people and serve our clients. Now, we're going to let Sheila talk about the history of Eagle Mountain Assisted Living. Again, we are a well-kept secret. A lot of people have no idea that we do this. So, Sheila, why don't you just talk about when this was started and just anything else that you want to talk about. Okay. Um. Eagle Mountain Assisted Living opened in March of 2006. Uh, we have 48 suites here and um, we are licensed for 48 residents. Okay, so, good. Um, we provide services um, such as three meals a day. Okay. Um, we also have CNAs and PCAs who actually provide care to our residents, the ones that need it. Some are still independent, some uh, need assistance. Sure. Um, we have LPNs and RNs on staff as well. Okay. Um, we are very much a home environment. We consider ourselves just one big happy family here. Hey, there's no doubt walking in the door for my first time and, 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 and did not know the association with White River Area Agency on Aging. And it is a beautiful, beautiful facility. And I, I'm just talking about an absolute gorgeous. And you got to give us a, a, a semi-tour. And we went up to the theater room. And just, and, and just looking at the facility, what a great place to offer uh, uh, folks in our community uh, a, a place to gain assistant living and that's what you guys do y'all mm -hmm. assist folks in their day-to-day -day, you know in day-to-day -day living capacity and it's a uh, there's no doubt it's a beautiful facility and I know you're proud of it oh absolutely absolutely David why don't we tell Sheila talk to us maybe if someone is interested if they were interested in, in uh, coming and look, looking around. And, Absolutely, and, yeah. What, and we what have would people that? come at that, that are planning ahead. That, they may have no need at this point in time, but she why don't you talk about that as far as they're welcome to come and talk with you. Oh, absolutely. Um, typically, our considered office hours are Monday through Friday from 8 to 5, but all of our staff has been trained to give tours, um, you know, provide basic information, sure. packet information on the services that we provide and cost. So it doesn't have to be Monday through Friday. If conven if whatever's convenient for the person who's inquiring, whether it's the weekend, evenings, we will always have someone here that is more than willing to give a tour and provide any information. And, and David, what that happens on the weekend sometimes because uh, yeah. the parents or the children of the parents, that's when they can come. Sure, uh, absolutely. You know, so absolutely. again, they may be looking down the road or they may be, they're needing some help right now. And right. so mm -hmm. uh, we, we can do those kind of things. And by the way, the food is really good here. <laughs> good man. So I'm real, I, you know, that's real important to me. But uh, <laughs> I've talked to the ladies in charge. Yeah, I know it's, go, it's going on right yeah, here. Right. I guarantee so, you that. Yeah, but we are excited about what we do here. And Sheila and her staff, uh, no kidding, they, they really do care about the folks that, uh, that live here. And, and they really take an extra interest in them. And so it's, it's really a really comfortable and easy place to uh, 
uh, to come to. Well, and you know, what you guys do and what y'all have done, and, and you had the 35-year celebration Absolutely. just last month and been doing this a long time, and this is just a, a, another well-kept secret, and we don't want it to be a well-kept secret. Yeah, we want yeah. folks to know the association here and that uh, another thing that White River Area Agency on Aging is doing to help uh, help the elderly. Absolutely. Well, it's just, it's a great facility. If you hadn't had a chance to take an opportunity to come to Eagle Mountain uh, uh, Assisted Living to do so, just to take a tour and, and as you say, maybe look ahead because you never know when you're going to need us. Absolutely. Sherry Hanley, and we are at Lindley. <laughs> and I see your frog. I can't put a camera on it, but I see your frog. Sherry, tell us what's going on at Lindley Health and Rehab on a beautiful Friday afternoon. Well, it is a beautiful Friday afternoon, David, so I thought, you know what? to do at Lindley than have bullfrog races today. And so that's what we've decided to do. The residents are excited. We are excited. Uh, we have our bullfrogs here in place. Uh, they're ready to go. They're jumping to go. And now I'd like, kind of like to introduce, I'd like to introduce the contestants. All right. Here we go. We've got Jenna Austin with her frog Kermit. We've got Haley Bethel with Pistol Shooting Annie. We've got Lou Ann with Lucy Lou. We've got Billy Browning with Prince Charming. We've got Bo with Speedy. We've got Michelle with Hoppy Jones. And I have uh, Croker here. And we've got Tasha with Tornado Tosh. <laughs> so it seems like we've got several contestants here. Uh, May the best frog win! We gotta get some rules and regulations, so let's okay, hear the rules right. and regulations get here. Frog. Get that frog now! <laughs> All right, <laughs> rules, y'all ready? Last time. Listen up. This is your rule. This is your starter line from right there to right there. Right there. Now, if you're a frog, you cannot goose your frog. And you cannot step on them. You don't step on them. And yes. you cannot goose them. No, don't kick them. You cannot touch it. You can, you, you can do this. I see it. You can do this. I now, see it. Now, if your frog jumps out of the line, you go, you go catch it, you go back to the deal and start again. Okay, Carson, are you doing the start? On the, on the count of three, you flag them down. You ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Flag go. Go, go, go. Who's got him? Get over here. Get that frog. Billy, grab your frog. Yeah. Yeah. You can have it, Bo. 
You go get, you done a good job, honey. Yeah. Okay. I, hey, my this mom always we told me I had to kiss a lot of toads to find my Prince Charming, so here goes nothing. Oh! <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sherry Hanley at Lindley Healthcare. Boy, we saw some great, great frog races, and you got to have great ideas, and you've come up with some of the neatest stuff, and our residents have such a marvelous time to spend a little time doing some fun things, and this is another fun day at Lindley. It is. You know, it, it's all about having fun here uh, and doing something different. You know, we, we like to do different things, so I try to be very creative. Uh, and, you know, I know when they were a kid, you know, they probably had bullfrog races, so I thought, well, let's just have a bullfrog race. It's a beautiful day. And it was a lot of fun. Uh, for refreshments, we're having lily pad punch and toadstool cupcakes. So, you know, we're having a good time here at Lindley. There's a lot of excitement going on, as you can tell. But that's what it's all about. Lindley is about fun, family. You know, we're, we're family and we love to have fun. Y'all are doing a marvelous job of keeping the residents involved, and it's a, it's a fun time, and we appreciate y'all letting us be a part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Lindley Health and Rehab, Lindley Lane, Newport. campus of the University of Arkansas Community College in Batesville. It's always a pleasure to come look at this beehive of activity that's always happening and we're filming for our August program and Kristen Cross has joined us and to talk about uh, several things that are happening especially from her end but Kristen first of all tell us a little bit about you. Okay well I did graduate from Batesville High School okay. some number of years ago and moved off to college and my husband and I were able to come back to Batesville and I've been at UACCB um, close to 10 years. So, wow. And I work in the financial aid office now. So. so being in the financial aid office, tell us just exactly what's your title there mm -hmm. and what do you do? What, okay. what happens in the financial aid office that we would need to know? Okay. Um, I'm the director of financial aid and okay. we process federal, state, and institutional aid. Um, we help students fill out the federal application, the free application for student aid. And that's kind of the big focus when, when students first come to us. And once we get that established to see what they're eligible, if it's a Pell Grant or a student loan or something like that, then we can talk more about scholarships. There are state scholarships that were available to high school seniors especially and also to some non-traditional age students. And um, we do have some institutional scholarships as well that we work with students usually earlier in the spring. But um, we're working to get those awarded at this point in time. I think it's so important when people start to college and they come to the college campus because they probably don't know the amount of dollars that are available out there for them and it's all a qualifying process and that's what y'all do. You hear this term and I think you might have mentioned it, FAFSA, you hear mm -hmm. that you hear that a lot say have you applied for FAFSA, you got to right. apply for FAFSA. And elaborate on that particular program in itself and tell us a little bit about that. Okay, that is through the U.S. Department of Education. Okay. Um, it's kind of the starting point. We use families 2013 tax return income, the previous year's tax return income, and it's based on that, plus how many people live in your house, how many students you'll have in college, um, just a number of things. And they have this very complicated formula that they use to then give us a number that lets us know what the student is eligible for. Um, and some students are eligible for as much as $2,800 a semester right. if they um, are a lower income family and things like that. So it, it's what we, we feel like it, it goes a long way at UACCB because it's an affordable um, cost and so 
Pell Grants usually will stretch and go pretty much the whole distance for students as far as paying for their tuition and buying books and things like that for the majority of our students. Yeah, Pell Grant is the other one that you hear a lot on a college mm -hmm. campus when you when you start talking about money and, and other scholarship monies are available as you mentioned and, and certainly with the, you know, the, the, the cost of college is, I mean, it's just like anything else in this world, I mean, has inched up as we go along and, yes. and certainly lots of avenues for money there that y'all offer at UACCB. Right. We look at students, um, for institutional scholarships, we look at students' ACT scores um, and things like that. State scholarships are basically based on ACT scores as well as sometimes classes students take while they're in high school and things like that. So um, those test scores are very important and we kind of use those to, to give students that um, recognition for that hard work that they've done in high school. If you are interested in coming to school at UACCB or you, you've been in college before and you want to restart your college career and uh, uh, you want to visit with about, you know, with you guys about financial aid, how do they do that? Do they come on campus? Do they sure. call? Do they email? How do they, how do they get in touch you with you? You can do it in a number of ways. We're glad to have students come in the office. We have a couple of computers that you can use to sit down and complete your FAFSA. It only takes probably about 20 minutes or so okay. to complete one typically. If you don't have the internet at home, we're always glad to help out. Um, it is an online application, so students are welcome to do that from the privacy of their own home if you choose to do that. And then you can always call us if you have questions, email us if you have questions. Um, our website has a um, financial aid link that you can send an email directly to and I get those and respond to them. So we, we're glad to help out however we can. That's one thing we want to make sure that students and parents understand. It is a little bit of an overwhelming process at first, but we are most glad to help in any way that we can. Well, and it, it needs to be. I mean, if, if the government is providing money or so on or other institutions are providing money and you've got to cross all your T's and dot all your I's sure. to get it done and make sure you do it right. But the, uh, money available at UACCB Absolutely. if you want to go to school. It's not too late to apply for the fall. So Fantastic. we'd love to help you. Hey, I appreciate you taking time to join Thank us on so a much. beautiful, beautiful week. I mean, the weather's just been absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be it's 85 crazy. degrees and 79 degrees tomorrow in Batesville, Arkansas. Unbelievable. At the end of July, it is a Unbelievable. Yeah, Kristen Cross, appreciate you so much for taking time Thanks to join so us. Thanks so much. Appreciate Let's continue it. on with more of our show. We're at UACCB in Batesville. Dairy Queen, Batesville, Sharon Strecker, and it's always a pleasure to get to come by and smell the burgers and the chicken and yes. you can even smell the dilly bars and the ice cream. That's here. right. This time of year you can. What's going on, girl? Well, we're just, you know, enjoying this nice, cool weather. Yeah, I'm loving it. Beautiful. That's right. And with cool weather comes a hungry appetite, and that's where you guys can come in and help poor folks like me who come in and real hungry, and I have to get the triple cheeseburger with mustard, mayonnaise, everything, some onion rings, uh, uh, and I either get a blizzard or a dilly bar or something to kind of top off the afternoon. Correct. Yeah. But, uh, I want to talk first about the blizzard of the month that's coming up for August. Ahoy, mate! Ahoy, mate! <laughs> this what? is the first time we've ever had this one. Chips Ahoy. Chips Ahoy Blizzard. Made with Chips Ahoy chocolate chip cookies. Oh, how horrible sounding. How oh, terrible. it's wonderful. Oh, and we, yes. you know, we just started it yesterday and it's just, people are loving it. I can imagine. It sounds so good. It sounds so good. Well, it's got the chocolate chip cookies in it. It's got chocolate chunks and chocolate syrup. It's awesome. Well, it's not good if you don't like chocolate, but if you like chocolate like all of us do, yeah, it sounds of. outstanding. That's it right. sounds good. And of course, it's not the only blizzard that you get. That's just the one that we're featuring this That's month. That's the feature. We have, a, we have other treats. Oh, yes. We have other treats. Peanut Buster Parfaits, Banana Splits, <laughs> we, you know, smoothies, sundaes, you know, like you said, the Dilly Bars, Buster Bars, all kinds of things. You know, and people from like me that's been around forever, we remember things that, you know, we had back in the Stone Age. Absolutely. And we still have people that come in and say, I want a Fiesta Sunday. Well, you know what? If I'm here, I can fix it. Is that right? Yeah. You know, of course, Dairy Queen, you know, there's certain things we don't have anymore, right. but I still know how to make them. There so. you go. There you go. And now, of course, we're talking about treats and, uh, you know, all kinds of desserts, but boy, if you really wanted something to eat, we can do that here too, can't we? We can do that too, and we're featuring our uh, flamethrower sandwiches this month. Okay. We have the flamethrower grilled burgers. We have the flamethrower chicken sandwiches grilled or crispy. We have a flamethrower wrap if they want it. And then when we say flamethrower, it comes with jalapeno bacon, pepper jack cheese, and flamethrower sauce, which I'm not a hot person, but a lot of people like this. So, you know, it adds a little spice to their life. 
Well, I think Dairy Queen, you know, a lot like uh, uh, a lot like a lot of establishments, but different in most establishments that you stay ahead of the time, and, and that's what people are wanting. They're asking for different products, that's and you right. have to stay ahead of the times by doing that. And but uh, I, there's no doubt that the, the staple of the business always remains the same, and uh, you, you can get you some real cheap lunch, your real inexpensive lunch. Talk about lunch. Five by lunch, 11 to 4 every day, seven days a week. And we've, uh, Dairy Queen last month, added a 6 to 1 bacon cheeseburger on there. Okay. That's going really good. So you can have the bacon cheeseburger, the quarter pound cheeseburger, three chicken strips, chili cheese dog. Not only does it come with the fries and the drink, it comes with a sundae. Oh, me. Or for a dollar more, you can get a, a you know, upgrade to a mini blizzard. Right. So, you know, you can't beat the five buck lunch. Five buck lunch is sensational. There's no doubt about that. And I, I heard something about chicken in that lunch. Speaking of chicken strips, do you guys do chicken strips here? Y'all have uh, We strips? do chicken strips. You have a basket? Yes, we do. We've got Tell a four-piece four or a six-piece chicken strip basket that comes with the chicken strips, fries, uh, white country gravy, uh, Texas toast. I like to dip my fries in my gravy. I do too. I do that. <laughs> I, yes. You have a look at me, I've dipped a lot of fries in the gravy. Well, I tell you what is absolutely good. sensational. That's one of those staples, and you talked about burgers before. The chicken strip basket is just simply sensational. It is, and, and August is, an, is a, another special month, or a special month for us. It's our Children's Miracle Treat Month. Okay. Uh, you know, the 14th of August, we're going to have our Miracle Treat Day, where all the proceeds from every blizzard that we sell goes to benefit the Arkansas Children's Hospital. Wow. We're selling balloons now that have coupons on them for a dollar a piece. Okay. Um, I have a girl that's uh, working for me, and I'm real proud of her. Her goal is to sell 2,000 balloons. Wow. And she has already sold 1,700 and something. Really? And all this money will stay here in Arkansas for the Children's Hospital. Isn't that right? Yep. That's fantastic. It is. Fantastic. You guys are doing good things not only for for baseball, but th folks throughout the you know the state of Arkansas, and, right. and I know that you guys are always willing to help when it comes to good causes. That's right. We love to help people because you know we never know when we might be in need and might need help. So we try to treat people like we want to be treated. She's Sharon Strecker. She is the proprietor of the Dairy <laughs> Queen in downtown Batesville, Arkansas. And if you want something good to eat, come here. If you're not hungry. Don't drop by. Because, well, just come by and say hi anyway. Yeah, you, you can know. Do yeah, that. you know, we'll talk to you all day long. <laughs> Don't forget about the Ahoy, mate! Ahoy! <laughs> <laughs> Blizzard of the Month at Dairy Queen. The area doctor of something. <laughs> Comedy, <laughs> laughter. What would you call it? What, what Seriously, what do we do before we get on here? Tell everybody what we do before we, we get on. We plot out a sensible business strategy. No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. We have been sitting here for 15 minutes that you didn't see, thank goodness, of no. just what we were discussing. If I were about you, I would demand and... that you know have like the 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 B the director's cut come out on these. Yeah, <laughs> it would be a dandy, I guarantee you. This is the area doctor, Dr. Yeah. Gavin McDowell, customized vision care. And we do have some professional stuff that we sure. could talk about today, but we're not going nah, to. What's so. the point of it? I, I do want to ask you about your, you, you tell about training. You, you yeah. tell everybody about what you're doing and training. Training for what? What do you, you, you said you took a trip and you went 45 miles. And I said, well, I drove 100 <laughs> miles that day. What do you do? And you said yours was on a bicycle and yeah. that was in a car. So tell us what you're training for. Uh, or what you're doing, yeah. Well, I just do a lot of stuff. I, I try to stay active because I'm getting older, you know. Yeah. And, you know, it's important not only to take care of your eyes, but every other part of your body. You only get one body, so you got to take care of it. So I do a lot of triathlons and stuff like that. So just got off, had a, tri a little sprint triathlon a couple weeks ago. Then last weekend I did a 45-mile bike ride for Arkansas Ride for the Cure. Benefiting, wow, you know, good deal. breast cancer. My mom's a breast cancer right. survivor. Survivor, so. good deal. Yeah. I try, try, meaning the three, which yep. are what? Swim, bike, and run. Okay, so, so you have to do all of that in the try. You got to do all of different, it. Different miles each time? or, or It depends on the distances. Like the, the most recent ones, most of the early ones in the season are, are considered sprint distance, meaning okay. we're swimming about a third of a mile, okay. biking for about 13, then run for about, you know, somewhere between three and six. But, uh, well, <laughs> Mostly three and five, but you'll jump up to an Olympic. I, got a, uh, I have an Olympic 
distance triathlon coming up in September I'm training for. It's what uh, is it? Yeah. It's okay. a nine tenths of a mile swim. Okay. That's um, a long way. That's a long swimming. way. That's a long way. And then I think a 20 mile bike ride and then a six mile run. Wow. All in one time. Well, and you have to have a pretty good idea of how your body trains and to get in yes. shape and yeah. where you are. You don't, you just don't <coughs> just jump into one of those and go, well, I think I'm going to try to do one those Saturdays. No, I've been running a lot. Uh, I just got into the, the biking. Uh, this year was really the first year I got serious into it. Uh, swimming, you know, I swim with the kids a bunch, but right, nothing sure, like sure, what sure. I'm training for. But So when you train, are you, do you have a trainer? Are you training on your own? I got a, I got a training buddy that uh, he's a pharmacist buddy of mine. Um, okay. We both keep each other, you know, motivated and stu- you know, going stuff like I that. I always have but to have somebody. Yeah, yeah. I, it's hard to get up at 430 in the morning and go get in a pool in the yeah. middle of January yeah. when you don't have somebody who's That's holding right. you accountable for Absolutely. it. But, yeah, but Absolutely. we go off a lot of training plans and we got a, I'm, uh, involved in a program over in Jonesboro right now called Project 90. It's a running uh, okay. workshop s- sort of thing. I did it last year. We, it kind of culminates. It's a 90-day program and teaches you how to run with proper form. And then at the end of that, we have a 60-mile run. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Uh, you uh, might. Well, <laughs> we you don't. Uh, you're invited. Come on I, over. I'd be, I'd be a good watcher. Yeah, you, need uh, some. you can carry drinks for me or go, something. Doc, go, Doc, go. Keep me motivated. <laughs> Run behind me and sing, you know, the, like the Rocky theme or something. I drive Humble. behind you. I'm dri- <laughs> beside the pool. I'll just keep surfing the pool. Go, there you go. Doc, go. <laughs> we do need to talk a little we, business because that's what, we, you know, and, and congratulations. I did not know that you were a triathlete. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, yeah. I knew you were athletic. You worked out, and and some of that stuff can really be grueling. I mean, it can oh. be grueling. Well, don't get me wrong. The 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 forty five mile ride I just did was grueling. it was all uphill, all into a headwind, the entire day. It mm. was hot. Yeah, it was. I tell you what, I I hated the breeze when we were riding, but loved it when we were done. But right. It was it was realistically one of the toughest things I'd done. Just the well, men, it's the mental aspect it is of mental. it, you know? Whoever put that on, did they ever think about maybe, you said it was uphill all the way, did they ever think about maybe starting up there and coming yeah, that's down? That's exactly what I thought. We made this <laughs> big loop, and I thought, <laughs> if we'd done this backwards, we're, I'd have coasted half yes, the way. Sir, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. What's the display here? Coach, this is our what, what coach, is coach display. That's, it's a, a fantastic frame line. It's yeah. very trendy. Women love it. Yes, sir. Um, it's got name recognition, you it know. It does. It does. But it, it's it's we got some a great selection of, of the ophthalmic line and then sunglasses and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's really it's a popular line. Well, and I would assume that it was established in 1941 since that's you, what that says. Uh, right you there. would be a very wise man to assume that. When I come in Surprisingly, here. Surprisingly, though, you're wrong. No, I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it was 1927. <laughs> <laughs> but we, didn't, we couldn't advertise right. it until 1941. So uh, uh, lots of lines, lots of different lines of uh, uh, vision care products that we have yeah. here. And, and uh, it's, it's the back, to t- uh, back to school time still. I mean, yeah, whether you're yeah. watching at the 1st of August or at the end of August, August, you're already in school. But we we still have specials. Exactly. We, we got a, our biggest package right now is is uh, single vision lenses and frame uh, for ninety nine dollars. Uh, you can do uh, the premium package, which is you get a lot of extra add-ons, quality things that make the lenses work better for right. you in a good frame. For I think it's one ninety nine. But that's okay. August first to September fifteenth. We run that every year. Right. Um, what that is is basically a lot of our labs and distributors give us this little. Uh, discounts try sure. to help us during Absolutely. back school so I just try to pass that on to the Absolutely. patients and what it really does it helps those patients who I'm trying to fill that gap you know especially with the implementation of the ACA and all these other healthcare things you get all uh, some of the coverage for eye benefits but you don't get your materials covered right. for you so right. people are having to pay out of pocket right. for this stuff and some of that involves kids and and you know my big thing is a child should not fail for you to determine, oh, they needed glasses all along. Right. So, you know, get them in here before school. Let's make sure that everything works properly because a kid can sit and watch TV all summer long and be fine and dandy, and they may have horrible vision, or they may have tracking problems with their eyes. Their eyes may not be working properly together. And they don't know. Don't know. They don't know. Don't know. So, and yeah. they get in school and they try to read or try to look at a board or whatever, and then, exactly. then all of a sudden, you know, grades, and they, they don't even know them. They just say, I can't get it. Exactly. Or and, and, and so, but uh, that's what you guys do, the professionalism of making sure that kids 
can see and they can succeed in school. I mean, obviously, that it's, it's uh, you know, success in life is not determined by how well you do in school, but it certainly is a yeah. big issue on how you do in school on exactly. opening up doors for exactly. you. Exactly. People need to do that. And uh, again, and, and my most famous thing to ever talk about here, and I, the contact lens, we talk about it almost every show, a guaranteed contact lens success program. It just, if it doesn't work, if it doesn't work for you, you don't know a thing. Just walk away. Walk away. Just it, throw not, your hands up. Say thanks, Doc. And, and we're not gonna let you, we're not gonna let you try nine million pair over the course of three years. And but but we're gonna we're gonna we'll get close. Fit you. We'll fit I've, you. I've been close to that really? a couple on yeah. a couple of patients. Well, we'll fit you with a good contact. Yeah. Or you don't know. I tell anything. patients all the time, you will give up before I will. And some people are really hard to fit. And I'll be honest with you, if you're sitting in the chair and I find out your prescription is really crazy. I'm going to tell you, you need to adjust your expectations. Right. You need to go into this eyes wide open. Contacts may not be the best thing for you. We're going to try. Sure. I'm not saying no. Sure. We're going to try, but I want you to be prepared. That you may have some disappointment along the way. So. And if you really want to be trendy with your eyewear, like I was, <laughs> you can get these at, at uh, this guy's place. I'll double right dare you to, to go back and look at some of the older programs and look at the difference of how he looked then and how much better he looks now. There's no doubt about it. I got my stuff right here, right here at custom, <laughs> Customized Vision Care yes, with sir. Dr. Gavin McDowell. <laughs> Good to see you, my friend. As always, it is a pleasure. It's a pleasure, all mine. At Harris Hospital in Newport, Arkansas, it's not unusual to have a Dr. Green. We've had a history of Dr. Greens. Matter of fact, a couple of them really. And we have another. Dr. Allison Green joins us here on the program and welcome girl. Thank you. And welcome you. back to Newport, Arkansas. Thank you. It's good to be home. I bet it is. Talk a little bit about Allison, about some training and, and uh, let's talk about where you've been the last several years and, and what got you to get back to Newport, Arkansas. Okay. Well, um, I graduated high school from Newport in 2003, so I haven't been home in a long time. Um, but uh, I started out with undergraduate degree, went to Jonesboro and finished up there in 2007, the degree in biology. Um, and then I went on to Little Rock. So I spent four years in Little Rock, graduated medical school in uh, 2011. Okay. So I got my MD then, so that was three years ago. And since then I've been in Jonesboro completing a residency in family medicine. So. I just finished that in June and now I'm ready to practice. Well, and practice and what doctors do, and I know you're excited to be back and be in the same office as your dad, Dr. Roger Green, who's been here for many, many years, mm -hmm. and, and, and Barbara, your sister, just right, you know, right down the hall from you. And so uh, you guys are, are, I know you're excited to get going. Tell us a little bit about what you do and who you mm -hmm. treat and what type of sure. patients that you're trying to see. Well, I am uh, board certified in family medicine, so uh, a lot like Dad does, yeah. we, uh, we specialize in preventative care and taking care of everybody from the newborn up to uh, grandma, grandpa, great grandma, great grandpa, so, um, and everything in between. So my goal is to keep people out of the hospital. Absolutely. To uh, prolong life, you know, and make sure the kids are on the right track, vaccinations, and. Um, doing things to keep themselves healthy and starting out the right way and then just kind of everywhere in between there so well let me ask you this uh, did you know early on or when did you know when did you decide maybe that you wanted to be a doctor was that some I mean obviously you've been around it all your life and, yeah. and you know that that quote that lifestyle whatever but when did you mm -hmm. decide do you remember um, I, I wanted all my life to be a doctor um, uh -huh. I, I took some little detours on the path I started out actually as a music education major. Wow. So I wanted to be a teacher uh, of music, uh -huh. and that lasted for one semester. <laughs> and uh, got back on track to wanting to be a doctor again because I just felt like it was sort of uh, built into what I was supposed to do. So uh, basically, ever since I can remember, it was my plan. Right. So as far as, far as family medicine goes, uh, there are a lot of specialties out there to choose from. and. And when I got exposed to all of them, I always found myself coming back to, to what Dad did. Right. So uh, family medicine is sort of close to my heart for that reason, and also just because I feel like it's where we can make the most difference. So. Tell me why Newport, Arkansas? Why did you decide to come home to, to get your start in this, in this business? Yeah. Well, um, you know, like you said, it is coming home. So there's a lot to be said for that. 
Um, every, the welcome here has been great already, and I haven't even started yet. So um, there's a lot, a lot to be said about coming home. Newport's a great town. Uh, it was very good to me where I was raised and uh, where I got my start. So I feel like it's time to try to give back a little bit. Well, not only home, but at Harris Hospital, our, our you know, hometown hospital, and uh, uh, I know that you're excited to get going, and you've, you, you've been, quote, on the job. It's just that at, when we filmed at the very end of July, we, we physically hadn't opened up yet, but as you watch in the month of August, we're, we're accepting patients, and uh, right. what do we have to do to get an appointment to see you? Well, you can call 870-523-9852 uh, and, uh, and schedule an appointment with me. I'm happy to see new patients, uh, like I said, all ages, babies, children, adolescents, uh, adults, and, and the elderly. So that number is, is the way you get a hold of me, and I'll be happy to, to talk to you. So Another Dr. Green at Harris Hospital. The tradition continues at Harris Hospital and at Dr. Green's office on McLean Street. Allison, thank you so much for taking time to visit with us. Thank you. Let's continue on with more of our show. Margaret Goodman, who will talk about Senior Circle and lots of things going on. And usually I have to interview folks and prod them along to try to answer <laughs> questions. But here I just say, Margaret, here you go. Here you go. Tell us what's <laughs> going on in Senior Circle. We Hospital. have a full month. Um, on Friday the 8th, I'm just going to kind of go over the calendar. Sure. But on Friday the 8th, Ball Knob Senior Center, which is located on 4th Street in Ball Knob, uh, you know, we've kind of joined with them and we do bingo there every month. Well, they're going to have a health fair. And we have lots of people here in Newport. I know Lindley Healthcare is one of them. They're going to be there. They're going to have a presence at the health fair. So if you got a few minutes, it's from, it starts at 10 o'clock and I think it's over like at 2. So just come on down to Ball Knob and go to the health fair. Okay. On Saturday, we're going to be very sinful and we're going to go to Tunica. Okay. See if we can win money. Yes, gamblers. Gamblers, big time. Uh, on Monday the 11th, we have a blood drive. Or Red Cross has a blood drive here in the community room from 12 to 4. So please come. And you just talked talk to Miss Allison Green. We're going to have a reception for her, and she, uh, she probably yes. talked about that yes. a little bit. Well, we didn't uh, mention it, but now you but can. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. We are going to have a reception for her on the 12th at 2 o'clock in the community room. So come on out and make her feel part of the community. We're okay. so excited about having her on board. Yes, absolutely. On the 19th, uh, Dr. Fuentes is going to do osteoporosis, uh, lunch and learn, here in the community room. Everybody needs to know about that. I don't care what your age is. Right. And uh, our Healthy Woman event, please sign up for that. That's, we are so thrilled to have such a big name come to Newport. Absolutely. Um, and we're just really excited about that. The tickets are $35. If you want to go backstage, meet and greet with her, there, there's only 100 of those tickets right. available. Those are $55. If you need to, uh, you got to go online to register. But if you have problems with your internet or you're just uncomfortable doing that, if you'll come see Rebecca or I, we'll gladly help you do that. Okay. Uh, on the 29th, our auxiliary, our little pink ladies, you know, they're constantly doing fundraisers. And we're real excited about this. We got Dillard's coming in here and they're going to bring all kinds of things, um, men's polos, men, women, children's. They're going to have a wide variety of things. Uh, we want everybody in Newport and anywhere else that, you know, just can't get to Jonesboro. Right. Come over here and purchase your items. Um, you can get gift cards that they, they do not expire. You can right. use them at Christmas time. Um, that way you can benefit Christmas yourself and also our volunteers. And when is that? The that's August 29th. The 29th, okay. Yeah, so we're Good really deal. excited about that. Good deal. Uh, I want to talk just a second about two trips that we've got coming up. New England tour is September the 16th to the 24th. Uh, we're going to be in Boston for four days. We're going to visit the John F. Kennedy Presidential Library. Yes, yes. I'm excited about this. I, I can't bet. wait for I the bet. fall foliage. Uh, Lexington and Concord, which is the birthplace of the American Revolution, where you heard the shot heard around the world, that kind of thing. We're going to go to Salem to the witchcraft trials. They may keep a few of us. <laughs> um, then we're going to go on to Gloucester. Uh, which is located in Cape Ann, and we're going to see these beautiful lighthouses. That's what they're known for. 
Uh, and then we're going to go to Hershey, Pennsylvania, where we're all going to buy chocolate at the Hershey factory. <laughs> so anybody wants chocolate, just call us and we'll pick it up and bring it back for you. That's the real stuff. Isn't That's it? the real oh. deal. Mm -hmm. We're going to be sick smelling all that chocolate. <laughs> the cost for that is $905 for two, or if you want to just go by yourself, it's Eleven sixty-five. The last day to participate or to let me know that you want to go is August the tenth. And now is, is the nine oh five? I mean, is that for uh, everything? Okay, cool. And That's everything. everything. Good That's deal. your hotel, your transportation. We'll okay. take a big bus okay. um, and everything that we do. And we this is just a little list of the things that we're going to be doing. So okay. it's going to be pretty awesome. In October, the 23rd through the 25th, we we're take, tripping again. Yes, we're tripping again, and we always go to Branson. Uh, my little seniors just love to go to Branson. Uh, but we're going to depart here on the 23rd. We're going to go to the Sight and Sound Theater and do a behind the scenes tour. The Dixie Stampede, dinner and show. We're going to see Jonah. Yeah. They say that's pretty awesome. Joseph Hall, the Elvis experience. We actually saw this last year and I have a couple of ladies and they knew who I'm talking about. They were beside themselves over this cute little Elvis. I mean, he can't be 25 years old. <laughs> and he shakes just like Elvis. And this year they have asked to be on the front row. So, really? Yeah, that we may have some heart problems. Well, you know what he'll tell y'all while they're down there on the front row for y'all coming? Oh. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank That's very right. Much. Thank That's much. exactly right. Oh, thank you very much. That's right. <laughs> We're going to get to see Clint Black. He very right. seldom comes to Branson. Yeah. We're going to get to see him while we're there. And then the New Jersey Knights. And of course, we can't leave Branson without some shopping. Right. This trip is $475 for a double and $525 for single, and that includes everything. Good so deal. we're going to be doing some traveling. Hey, you guys travel. You guys have a great time when you do. Yes, it is a we great do. organization. We haven't talked a lot about Senior Circle recently on the program. Tell us if you want to be involved. How do you get to be a member of Senior you Circle? You call me at 870-512-3030. Costs $15 per person or $27 for couple a year, and you get a numerous amount of discounts. Yeah, you, it pays you know, for itself. It does. First it time really you use it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We, we are so excited because we got vision, dental. Uh, we have everything that is offered to our seniors at a discount. And it, it just makes their life better and Excellent. easier. And that's what it should be. You know, uh, Harris Hospital is- Great program. It's, yes, it's a great program. very, very great program. I, I, of course, I, it's very close to my heart. I love it. Um, but anyway, uh, we are uh, excited about these new trips coming up. Good deal. The New England trip, you know, is going to be awesome. It's going to be in the fall foliage type of the year. So we're excited about both of them. I bet you are. Yeah, we are. She's Margaret. And see, I told you, all I've got to do is just introduce her and let her tell you <laughs> about all the exciting things they're having at Senior Circle at Harris Hospital. Thanks, girl. Thank you. <laughs> and happy 40-year reunion yes, to you. Yes, <laughs> which is coming up October the 3rd. So yes, it is. anybody out there that sees this and is our class member, Give David a call. Call us. And that number is 000 It's 870-512-8427. <laughs> we'll give you the details on the reunion. Great pleasure to be at St. Michael's Place, Pecan Street in Newport and visiting with folks that are uh, instrumental in good things that not only go on here, but go on throughout the community. And folks, if you don't know, let me introduce to you Miss Velma Bobo, lady who is has her husband who is at the St. Michael's facility. And first of all, before we talk about uh, St. Michael's, let's talk a little bit about uh, Miss Bobo and tell us a little bit about you, where you were born and, and kind of what happened the first few years of your life. Okay, I was born in Oliphant, Arkansas, and we moved from Oliphant when I was about five year old. Uh, I grew up uh, in that little country, in the country, and. Um, I went to high school some here in Newport. I didn't complete it, but okay. I went to high school some here in Newport. Uh, I got married at an earlier age. You know, you just think <laughs> nothing else is, is going on. You just got to right. get married. You got to get married. That's the thing to do, <laughs> isn't it? That's the thing to do. Uh, I was married two years before I had any children, and so uh, I'm the parent. Of, uh, we are the parents of ten children. Ten children. And everybody knows some of the Bobos. 
Bobos. Oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, everybody in Jack. When you say Bobo, that name is just synonymous <laughs> to Turkmen and Newport and Jackson County. I mean, there, there's, 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 there are a few Bobos around that you that we all know. Oh yes, good yeah. family, good folks. Yeah. Um, but anyhow, we are, are, we lived a pretty good life. Right, good deal. And we raised uh, the children in. All finished high school except one, one child. Okay. Are uh, about six finished college. Wow. Uh, I had six children that went into military. Uh, and they're scattered. I they bet just, they are. Yeah, yeah they, they, they usually do. They, yes, yes, they, they just usually different do. places. So uh, we we just you know. Just common people, and just yes, love people. Yes, just I, you know, I love everybody. I don't know anybody that I don't love, and it keeps me busy. I bet it does in the community and in, in uh, school and right. whatever. Well, what all do you do now? Now we were talking, and I know that you do a lot of volunteer work, and you're talking about in the community and at the school. To kind of give me an example of what you might do when you when you do your volunteer work. Okay. Uh, what I do for volunteering, I help the children in the school. Okay, yes ma'am. And last year, well I had been working with the second grade and third grade uh, uh, children, but last year uh, the lady over these uh, three and four year old, she saw something in me, she wanted me down with those babies. Okay. So I worked there with those babies and enjoyed every moment. It gave me something to do to yes, get up yes, and, and be with those babies. And they love me and I, I love bet, them. I bet. Well, if you've raised 10 of your own and then when they grow up and move on and do some of the great things that they have done, then it gives you something, a, a peace of mind to go in and watch children and help children and see how they respond, uh, respond to your kindness and your love and uh, uh, you're doing a lot of good volunteer work, it sounds like. Yeah, and, and I, I do uh, some volunteer work at the uh, assistant living in Tuckerman. Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. uh, I don't know if you would call this volunteer visiting uh, people in the community and if they need any aid or any something, I, you know, help out there. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I don't know what all I... You do a lot, I know. <laughs> you do a lot. <laughs> Uh, and I love to come here, and if I see some need that somebody need, even assisting somebody going down the hall, and they are tired, yes, ma'am. Assist them in and taking them to the room, or or help putting the uh, bib over those just before right. dinner. Uh, assist those that are having problem eating. Or something I don't, you know, I love to do that. I, I just love to see everybody happy. And you come and you come to visit uh, Mr. Bobo, who is at the facility here at St. Michael's and has been for several years and, and spent some time with him. And then while you're here and visiting, and you, you do just that, whether you call it volunteer work, I, I like to call it service. You give a service to those people that have, you're giving back to the community, uh, to a community that, uh, that you love dearly. And, and, uh, <laughs> I mean, you get so much satisfaction, and I know that the folks at St. Michael's Place love having you come and do your volunteer work here and your service work in because they brag about you all the time. And, and we, we've been trying to get you on for an interview, and we finally, finally got it all done. And uh, uh, I know it's important to you. It is very, very important. And uh, uh, if I can help any, any way at all, you know, I, I would be happy to do that, you know. Uh, really, they're doing a great job with my husband. They're doing, you know, uh, uh, you know, he, he's at, at a stage where, you know, you probably can't understand what he says, but, yes, but I let him know that I'm here. Absolutely. We, Absolutely. we have been married 65 years. And so, wow. <laughs> 65 years. That's right. You did get married real, real young, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> 
<laughs> 60. Well, congratulations on that length of time. And, and, I, and, and again, on behalf of St. Michael's Place, I know they appreciate you so much for the service that you give to these folks out here because you're not only giving to St. Michael's, it's you're, you're giving to the residents, and that means so much to these residents and their families to know that, that they're going to be taken care of when, when they come to this facility, and then there's going to be so many volunteers like you who come and give the little extra, the little extra kindness. And uh, Miss Bubba, we want to thank you so much for taking time to visit with us. Anything else you need to tell us today? Anything that you need to say? Do you need to say anything about me and my brothers, or do you just are you uh, good? To say? <laughs> well, it is. Uh, I don't know if his name was David. You know, he was heavy set. I'm David, and Bud's the oldest. He's the oldest, and he was the radio guy for a long time. Radio, long. He was okay. radio guy and TV guy for a long time. Okay, well, he's the radio guy. He's the radio guy, and, that's right. And, and that's we talked what, about our family before we got on the air right okay. here. Okay. And, of course, the story of my life is that, are, are you Bud? No, I'm not. Well, then who are you? Yes. <laughs> well, I'm David. I'm just one of them. But, uh, well, I, I just want you to know that I am from a big family. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, my dad lived to be 105, and my wow. mother was 98. Wow. And uh, they taught us to love everybody. Yes, ma'am. I don't know anybody that I don't love. They opened my, uh, we had a table longer than this table. It, it probably, a, I don't know, it probably was a maid table. I don't know. We <laughs> we didn't have a lot of chairs and things. Uh, they had benches, you know. Yes, ma'am. And anybody that was hungry, you was welcome to come and got, sit down and have a chance to eat. Eat, and our parents taught us to love everybody, and so I, I guess it just blended in me to love everybody. I don't know anybody that I right I absolutely. Don't, you know. Well, you keep on giving. You just keep on giving, and the world would be a better place if there were a, a few more people like Belma Bobo in it, I can promise you that. Thank you so much for visiting well, with us. Thank you so much. Belma Bobo at St. Michael's Place, and this lady is a treasure, a treasure not only in Jackson County, but throughout the state of Arkansas and throughout mankind. <laughs> Mark Martin Kia, south of everything in Batesville, with my good friend Jeff Zelasco. Hey, and there. as always, what a pleasure is it to visit with you on a gorgeous, gorgeous spring day. Spring, <laughs> 80 something degrees. Yeah. We knew it was going to warm up to 80 something degrees here in spring. Oh no, this is summer. Yeah, end of summer, kind of sorry, middle of summer. What happened out there? I don't know, but I like it. Pretty nice, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? Pretty I nice. take a couple months of this. Yes, sir. You know, yeah. everybody we've talked to on, on, on the circuit today, we, we've talked about the weather because it, it's something to talk about. It certainly I is. Mean, you get 80 degree days and highs of 78 degrees in July in Arkansas. You, you, we must be doing something right. Yeah, in 2012 we weren't. <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we still talk about that summer too. Oh, it was hot, hot, hot <laughs> then, wasn't it? Hot. Yeah, you could fry eggs without putting them on the ground. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. But the weather's been gorgeous, and, and uh, of course we at uh, Mark Martin Kia continuing to sell automobiles, and that's what we do, and we do it at an alarming rate, according to the statistics <laughs> of kids. And I don't see how you guys do it in such a, a, a smaller market, as they call what we are. We're in a smaller market yeah, we as are. such. But the, we, reach out, are, we reach out quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, our numbers are pretty good reaching out, aren't they? Yeah. yeah talk a little bit about the numbers, not specific numbers, but numbers in general. Well, we're, we're having a really good year, uh, and Key is, for the first time ever in four years, our inventory has kept up with our sales. Right. Uh, so we're keeping about 100 units on the ground continually, uh, and that, that's nice. Absolutely. When people come look at cars, they like to have a selection, and we like to offer a good selection, and we have a good selection. Uh, and we're just, we're just rolling right along. We're uh, in our zone, our district, uh, Memphis is outselling us. Uh, not all the dealerships in Memphis, but one of the Kia stores in Memphis. Right. We're, we're outselling one of the Kia dealerships in Memphis. Right. Absolutely. At this at this current time. Right. Uh, Little Rock ahead of us. Tulsa's ahead of us. Uh, 
Not many. But the rest, you know, Fayetteville's not, right. Fort Smith is not, right. yeah. uh, Tupelo's not, uh, Fayetteville's not. Well, you talk about who, who's ahead of you or who's not ahead of you, but boy, when you start talking about market penetration and numbers and, and, and the good thing about it, and you and I have talked about it on the show a lot about, you got to have the units there. It's great if you get 100 units in and you sell 100. But if you don't have another hundred to replace those hundreds, then you have a lull period that, that yeah. you're just you're scrambling for inventory. And you know those are some of the good problems to have. We've had some of those quote good problems, but it is certainly a nice solution to have inventory. Oh, it's it's fantastic, and, and to have sellable inventory is even better. You know, some sometimes they just they'll dump stuff out on you to have sure. a number on the Absolutely. ground, and and we've got that under control right now. <laughs> Talk about what we have left, uh, 14s, when, you know, we, we're, boy, and, and again, yeah, Happy we're New a, Year. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. That's uh, correct. The, the 15s have arrived, folks. That is correct. Uh, I have got 15, 2015 models in every car on the ground right now. Uh, every, every line we've got, I've got 2015 models on the ground. And the 14s have really dwindled down. Uh, we've, had, we've had a big month here, and we've all, I've got less than 30 2014 models left on the okay. ground. Uh, and of course, those have the best incentives and we're making the best deals on them. Uh, if you're thinking about 2014 Kia, don't wait too long, please. Right. Uh, because when these goes, I, I can't replace them. And, and the thing that you guys can do, if you've got a 14 and a 15 sitting side by side as such, and, and you guys are professional enough to go through the numbers with a customer Certainly. and say, how Certainly. many years you're going to own your car, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. What's and the value a, of a model year? Absolutely. What's yeah. the value of what you have to give for a 15 compared right. to a 14? I mean, obviously, and I, the old, old, old rule of thumb is if you plan on trading real quickly, if you, you know, maybe better to buy the, the 15, but if you're not going to play trade for five, six, seven years, and and, and the difference being a the difference between a six-year-old car and a seven-year-old car is not as much as the difference that you have to that you save for the 14. And, and the Here, here's the good news: uh, the 15s have not gone up that much in price. Right. Uh, just to, I'll give you for instance the Optima, which is very popular, very good-looking car, gets great gas mileage. Uh, the LX models we were running in 2014, uh, the entry level, 19,985. Right. Okay. I'm running the 2015. For twenty thousand nine ninety five, right? Right. That's yeah. only a thousand dollars. Absolutely. You've moved up a model year, and a model year is worth more than a thousand dollars. Absolutely, it is. Time. Absolutely, it is. Uh, so, I mean, we're in good shapes. The the place that's going to hurt is like the souls. Okay. Uh, they have not incentivized soul, okay. and I don't have any help on the fifteens yet. Okay. Um, gotcha. So you're you're going to notice a difference there. I, that the good news is in my fourteen models. That's what I've got the most of right now. Okay, good deal. Uh, I was able to get in on a buy, so to speak, at Kia. Sure. Uh, when they were getting ready to wind down the 14 production, they made a phone call to us because we sell a lot of cars and uh, wanted to know would I take uh, an extra allocation if I wanted it. And we took about 25 souls off of them at the end, of, at the end run. Okay. And those extra. cars have hit, yes. And I've got mm, maybe 15 of those left. It's, it's funny how they, well not funny how it works, but it's kind of neat how that works where the factory's gonna make so many. I mean, mm -hmm. they have to, they, I mean, they schedule months and a lot of times years in advance of yeah. what you're gonna do and what they're capable of doing. So they have yeah. to produce so many cars. And then again, they don't know exactly what the sales rates are gonna be. There's projections, right. but then, and then you get that by saying, they look and say, well, okay, let's look at old Mark, Martin Kia up in Batesville, Arkansas. Well, they seem to have done real well and they're doing real good on this particular unit. Let's call those guys and just see if that, they could use and, some and extra. That, and that's what they because do. they have to sell them. They have to sell yeah. them. Because they're going to make them. They're going to make yeah, them. They're made. Somebody's got to, quote, take, take them. them. Mm -hmm. And by taking them means you've got good sellable inventory. Yeah. Because you have done well with that particular, yeah. that particular unit. And the, the Sportage is another case in point. Uh, this year, of course, they got the plant paid for in Georgia this year. Right. So they opened up Sportage a little bit more to, to us. And, and the good news is <laughs> I've sold more Sportages this year than I have all the other years we were opened. Wow. Uh, wow and I've still got a good supply, and because of that, I've got about 2015s in route. Uh, Sportage has been very popular. It's a good looking vehicle, a lot of technology on it, uh, and you get it you know, starting out nicely equipped around 21, 21.5, 21 uh, so been a good hitter for us. SUV, get up into it, not down into it, right. you know, yeah. all that. 
room, so. Oh, I like that. Get up. Yeah, I like that. I, yeah. I like that. You get a, up. A do. lot of people come in here, and when they come in the front door, we're looking something we get up into and not get down into. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Well, uh, product and they evolve, and and uh, they evolve in relation to you know number one what others are doing, and what what we're all doing is uh, trying to stay ahead of the game. And we're trying to build automobiles that are appealing mm -hmm. to the public, that are affordable to the public, that uh, th that we can sell because yes. that's what people want to buy. That's what they want. Good looking, sleek, you know, nice. I mean, sporty lines. looking. Yes, yes, or the lines, and then the, and uh, we often talk about safety on Kia, and I, I just think it's a tremendous selling point when you talk about safety features on these automobiles. They're, they're loaded with them. You know, it, people forget <clears throat> Kia started out as a steel company. Right. Uh, and if you come in, and we've got a video on the plant in Georgia of them making actual vehicles down there, and they'll show you, they've got the big old rolls of steel, and they roll that out, and they stamp out each part right there in that building, in that factory. It's just amazing to watch. Well, go ahead. I, I didn't mean well, to interrupt. With, with all the steel and their access to it, they put quite a bit more on a car than some manufacturers do. Uh, in the sole, they put steel bars in those back seats right. and steel plates over right. those back seats. Uh, and, and that increases our safety rating. I had a lady call me the other day and she was interested in the vehicle. She said, well, what's your crash rating on it? I said, five stars. Well, what's your side impact rating? Five, five stars. stars. What's your rear impact? Five stars. I said, but my rollover's only four. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I mean, and their, their occupant classification system in the car is just second to none. Uh, all the, with, with computers and technology, uh, and the extra airbags, sure. you're, you're very safe. Safety is incredible. In the, it in, is. Uh, and, and really, when you come in and again, and when you talk about price of automobiles, and you, you're in a great price line, and you talk about how your automobiles look, I mean, you're just, uh, the, the looks are simply outstanding. The ride and drive is essential. Essential. And it's pretty darn good when you get in these products, yeah. the ride and drive. And keep talking about technology, and I, I I won't call this technology, but we'll call it improvements. You know, now we've got acoustic glass that we're putting on cars. Uh, we've got hydrophobic glass, which has Rain-X built into the glass on the side window, so it just sheds the water, which gives you better vision in a rainstorm out your rearview mirror. I mean, these all go with safety. Right. Uh, we talk about traction control. We talk about landlock brake systems, uh, downhill grade assist, uh, uphill start. Uphill start keeps your car from rolling back when you take your foot off the brake to go right, forward. Yeah. All these things, they all come together and you don't even have to do it. it right, it does it itself. Yeah, it, it does happens. it itself. And, you know, we talked, we talked about UVO and UVO e services, and the 2015s now have the next generation of UVO e services with the geofencing systems <laughs> and uh, the technology to, if you've got a smartphone or an Apple phone and you've got Siri in it, Siri now works through your car. Sure. You can tap the button if your phone's paired and talk to Siri right through your car. Yeah. Uh, you can put in a zip code, and if your car leaves that zip code, parents, you get a text message. <laughs> or And you say parents. Yeah. Absolutely. If your car gets over a certain speed, you get a text message. Parents uh, will like that parents feature. Will like, you know, th this thing, parking minder, uh, boy, all this stuff is just, we got to keep up. It's getting tough sometimes. <laughs> I guarantee you. The training is intense right now, but uh, well, it, it has to be intense. I mean, it has to be intense from uh, on, on not. It's a very sophisticated product, mm -hmm. but it's a simplified technology. If you know, if you know how to handle the technology, yeah. and you have to be trained on y'all's end to pass that information along to me as a consumer or anybody that walks on the lot because we may not know if we're driving a car that's seven eight years old and haven't had a new Certainly. automobile it's all new to us Certainly. and uh it's amazing what is there and it's amazing what what we have to know not to be able to operate the car we're not saying that you can't operate the car but to operate those extra features on it that yeah. make it the value the, the to, value to enjoy what you paid for absolutely absolutely uh, and there's no subscriptions with any of this right uh, now, the Android-based system, which we have also this year, which is a Navi system, uh, it's got Pandora in there, right. <laughs> stock markets. Uh, I forgot to mention, all the new UVO systems have Wi-Fi. Right, Wi-Fi. You, wi can, you can pull up and turn your Wi-Fi on in your car. Wow. 
Wow, <laughs> unbelievable. Yeah, it's, it's, it's changes are coming, folks. <laughs> well, the thing that you want to try to do, you know, and, and again, we talk about the great products, we've talked about the, the safety, and we always talk about gas mileage, fuel economy, and, and ride and drive and sleekness of cars. And, and then the bottom line, it's people dealing with people. Right. And people selling automobiles to people. And I, have, and I believe this from the bottom of my heart. Your product gets people in here because people know about your product. And then when your staff who is trained can really educate people on the product and then, and then you have to make an educated decision. But when those people respond back to you that they are well satisfied, it makes you feel pretty good that you're doing a job. And we've had some good comments coming back. We've got a, uh, uh, when somebody says, I appreciate you being fair and honest with me and you did a good job. It makes you guys feel good. It does. And you know, we reach out pretty far on sales. Uh, way up into Missouri, <laughs> uh, way over toward Harrison. And yes, most of those people say, oh, we were on your website. But a lot of them went to our website because somebody said, oh, you need to take a look at Mark Martin Kia. Uh, we pay out a lot of referrals, and I'm happy to pay, that, pay those referrals out to customers because, I mean, that's the best compliment you can get, like you yeah, said. Absolutely. When somebody is. says, you need to go there. But when those people come and they go, you know, and this, this happened last weekend. We had out-of-town weekend last weekend because we had people here from everywhere. Uh, we didn't have any locals, but we had people here from everywhere else. <laughs> that's right. uh, but they were all going, you this is so different. Yes. This is not like any other experience we've ever had. And, and this is the most fun we've had buying a car. And uh, I tell them, I said, well, it's not rocket science. I said, <laughs> we just like selling cars and sure. like meeting people. Sure. And most of us don't like buying cars. Yeah. Most of us don't like the experience of buying a car. I mean, either, either we've had a bad experience doing it. Or, and, and, and again, and, and I'm here often. I'm here often. Yeah. And I see how you treat customers, and that's how I want to be treated in, in the buying process. It's just, just what, it's what you get here. It's not hard to do. No, it's not. Uh, but there's, there's a lot of pressure put on people when they drive up to car dealerships. There's, there's a lot of things in place to kind of intimidate people. Uh, and that's the last thing we want to do here. I mean, you know, we've got a good product. We're proud of it. We enjoy showing it off, <laughs> sometimes a little bit too much, but sure. we really enjoy showing our cars off and telling people about them. I, I had one lady, here this weekend, she said, you really love your job, don't you? I said, yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. Uh, she said, I can tell. You're just proud yes, of your sir. products, and, yes, and, and, and we are. And, uh, and we want the people that buy them to enjoy them as much as, much as we do. And part of us explaining how things work and, and, and understanding what all you're getting for your dollar. Absolutely. Folks, we encourage you to, to think about us, to give us an opportunity to work a deal for you. At least let us give you, you know, let us give you some figures. Let us give you uh, 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 the chance to get a good deal. Yeah. Let us give you the chance to get a good deal because everybody wants a good deal on an automobile and you can get one at Mark Martin. We'll give you a good deal. A lot goes into a good deal, does it not, my friend? <laughs> yes, it does. Jeff Zelasco, he is the man in charge of Mark Martin Kia, south of everything in Batesville watching the television show and it's always good to, I watch you from time to time and, I, and you talk about an exciting guy and I see you and I get to visit with you. I know you do, you love your job and it's good to have a guy like you who's excited about what you do because we're excited to have you come join us at Mark Martin Kia family. Thanks.